Hey everybody, it's John here from TheGameReact.com. Here we are today, back in Black and White Bushido, grabbing the final form achievement. This is to score 3,000 or more points in Challenge Mode. So what you want to do is want to hop into a single player game, make sure you set the game mode to Challenge, set any stage, I recommend doing something simple like Village and starting it up. So you have these challenges in the upper left hand corner, each one is going to be worth 100 points, so that means you have to do a total of 30 challenges. So my best advice is to ignore the AI and focus on the challenges. So they are going to be something different like sneaking for X amount of seconds or blending into your own color or getting a kill in a certain way. And obviously when you have to go for a kill, that's when you focus on attacking the AI. Make sure you avoid the AI because they will be trying to kill you after they fill up the map with the color. You get your first achievement right there for hitting 300, that's for doing three challenges. And uh, now for the rest, so uh, as you can see they get progressively harder, however this is kind of luck based since you can get a string of easy ones, but uh, you can also get into a string of hard ones too. Just be familiar with the game and how the mechanics work, you know, get used to wall jumping and attacking people in midair with directional influence and get really good at avoiding the AI because once the map is filled they have no uh, reason but to kill you at this point, so uh, try your best for that. You can also make the best use of items to slow them down, like using cold traps or smoke bombs, so keep that in mind. But uh, as you can see right here, once the map gets uh, pretty hectic, it's going to be hard to work on those stealth based ones like the sneak, but the map does reset every once in a while, so keep that in mind. That's when you should be getting those challenges done. And another bit of advice is take your time. There is no timer, so you can take however long you want to try to get these. If the map isn't suitable for you, you can always wait for it to reset, or you can capture the flags in order to try to reset the map. But uh, as you can see right here, the wall jump kills are probably the hardest ones, just because you need to focus on the timing. Just try to funnel your opponents in this uh, area, or the, the uh, area on the right, and then you should be able to knock it off. So uh, here we go, just going to stall until someone gets into position, and then we can wall jump kill them. Now we get another three, stay visible for five seconds, this one's easy, especially if the map is not in our favor, and just run around in circles. Dump jump for five seconds, the same thing, just dump jump, just uh, use this map. Another reason why I recommend using this map is because it does have a warp zone on either side of the stage, so if you ever get one of those dump jumps, you can just uh, keep on running through the warp zones to avoid enemies. And uh, coming across our final couple of ones here, going to sneak, to do sneak, you just hold down left trigger. The game does tell you all the controls before every game, so I recommend reading up on that because there's some mechanics that you might not know of, so keep that in mind. And uh, I'm just going to wait for someone to come down here so we can get a dash kill. And uh, also working on the keep moving for X amount of seconds. But uh, this guy's going to be the perfect candidate for our dash kill. There we go. And uh, didn't count, unfortunately, so we're just going to try again. And uh, there we go. And then we get another three here, but actually that was the last couple of ones we needed. So there's the achievement. It's going to be for 200 gamer score, and that's all there is to it. 